Hi everybody, my name is Jake Johnson. Welcome to Jake Showcase. I had been doing videos on Wednesdays. Today's date is Feb uh, March the 11th, 2016. And I'm extremely happy today because I have finally broken 1 million views on YouTube. And today I'm going to show you and I'm going to tell you how I got to a million views on YouTube. So first I got to show you the proof as usual. Okay, so let's go take a look here. So today... It was amazing when I woke up. I wanted to wait, make sure everything, I, I could see it coming here, but uh, I had to wait until it showed. So as you can see here on my uh, dashboard, right, on my dashboard page, right, for Jake Showcase, right, it says 1,237 views. And also if you go to the channel, you can see here that it also says there 1,237 views. All right. And one other thing I want to point out while I'm here so I don't have to come back to this is I want to show you and I want to tell you and, and confirm for you that it uh, all of them are monetized. So they're all monetized videos. And I'll tell you why that's important in, in a minute. So, uh, how did I do it? You probably want to know why, how did I do it? How can you do it, right? Now, I, I'm going to try to show you here. I'm going to try to explain to you what I did. All right. So, the first thing I want to tell you is that it's really, 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 really hard, right? Like, it's extremely hard. I couldn't believe how hard it was. I have to tell you. It took me 358 videos to get here, but really it took a lot more. You see, because I was so firm and, and, and sticky about having everything clean and done right, I wanted to make sure everything was monetized. All like the sort of restrictions of a YouTube partner, right, that I was, I wanted to make sure I was fitting in all the guidelines. So if you want to get a lot of views on YouTube and you don't really care about how, well, you just go and you maybe, you know, do some sort of thing that's not, not, you know, and, and put it up. And, but in order to be a partner, right, in order to be a partner, when you agree to being a partner, means that it's all got to be your content and there's a whole bunch of rules that you got to do. So I had to fit everything inside of that. And that can be sticky. So I would say about 10% of my videos, about 30 videos, I had to remove for one reason or another in order to keep, you know, my vision of having everything done the right way, right? So how I did it basically was is it took me 1,344 days or 1,343 days depending. It says on the channel there that my start date was um, July the sec uh, 7th, 2012. But in truth, in my opinion, it was July the 6th, two that's July the 6th, 2012 because that's when I bought the camera. And when I was first signing up for the channel name, because the channel name is really important, what you pick originally, I wanted it to be neat, and I was having some problems with the spelling. I'm not a great speller, so, you know, I was having some difficulties with it. And so, but I figured that that was the day, that was the first day I started, you know, filming and learning about the camera. And I really totally started from scratch. Like, I started from nothing, just standing there to basically, you know, having this idea and I started making some videos, right? And then what happened, or what happened to me was, is that I made a bunch of videos, and they started doing good, right? They started doing really good, or you know, relatively good. And I thought, well, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna do more of these, right? And I, I was like, wouldn't it be awesome if you had like these big channels, like these big huge YouTubers, right? Well, how do they do it? So I, I started making like a real sort of study of, well, what is common, what can I see, what do they do, and, I, you know, for example, like, they all have, like, the social media, right, I didn't have any social media, you know, Facebook, the Twitter, all they did, Pinterest, Tumblr, I didn't have any, in fact, I'm not, I wasn't really a computer guy, right, but I could see they all had it, so I would, went and got those things, and then, um, they were all really regular, right, they, they, they usually picked, uh, sort of a format, of what they did and they would do it like on the same day or if they did it a couple times a week the same couple days or if they were doing it you know some of them very few would do it all the time but most most of the real big ones had a sort of a pattern right i didn't really understand why the pattern right what you know what was so important about the pattern but i could definitely see throughout all like the real big ones that, that that's one of the things that they did and 
So I, uh, I ended up picking a day and uh, sticking with it. And uh, for people who know the channel real well, I would always do it at midnight because I was so anxious because I actually really like doing videos, right? And I've really enjoyed it and it's been like a lot of, you know, kind of like a bit of fun for me too. And I always wanted to get that next video out because whenever you put a video out, your channel sort of goes up more, faster. And so I was, I, you know, I, I would do it right at the midnight. So that was always my time. I was very, very, very good with that. Um, I don't know about the future. I don't know if I'll be, you know, what I'll do going forward as far as making videos. Um, it took me the 358, like I was saying, but, uh, you know, at the beginning, I would put up a lot of videos because I noticed these guys had a whole bunch of videos, right? They had a whole lot of videos and I didn't have any video. I had maybe 20 videos or, you know, 30 videos or even 10 videos. So I need to make more and more and more vi uh, videos in order to have the video volume, right, in order to, like, you know, to be sort of in the ballpark of what a lot of really, you know, big and successful YouTubers do. So I made a whole lot of videos, and once I started catching up, right, then I started going with the pattern, right? But the reason that the staggered view count is really, really important is because when you have a video and you put it on headline, right, then it, it, it accumulates views for that period of time. So the longer the video is on headline, the higher that video's view count will get, and it gives you the most exposure you can, right? Now, I, this is going to, I think, be my 20th video, 20th video that I've done on YouTube advertising. I call it YouTube advertising. I made a big playlist of it. So 20 of these has shown you what I did, like at 1,500, 5,000, each step of the way, and any big mark that I, I consider to be a big mark, that I made a video of it, right? And I said, okay, just to show you where I was at and what I was thinking and what I had learned, is, you know, and then, you know, what I was trying to do. Now, this would be the last one of, of those for sure, right? I don't know if this would be the last video on Jake Showcase, which was the original plan. So, anyway, I'm really, really happy. And so... Uh, another thing that a lot of times people do is like they get into, um, you know, paying for views. Now, I'm a really poor guy. I've always, I, 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 I've been basically on and off. If I've had about half the time, I've had a job and about half the time I haven't. I've been, you know, unemployed, right? So financially, it's been very difficult. I, I live and I'm from London, Ontario, London, Ontario Canada. Right, but um, this town has been really, really hit hard by the uh, loss of jobs and manufacturing, and so the economy, everything has just been really, really low, and uh, the wage has been pushed down, and it's just been, you know, it's been a really, it's a really hard place. It can be a really hard place to get um, to get a job, right, and to get a job that you can do, and to get a job that you can do, and you can, you know, you can make enough money. It's 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 difficult that way. Right, and I've been uh, I've been to soup kitchens. Um, I just it's been really rough, and you know a lot of things. A lot of times people are like, oh, just move, right? Well, I was so determined to stay here and to prove you could do it from anywhere, even in you know uh, here, anywhere you are. I wanted to show no matter what, if you had the heart, if you had the determination, if you had the patience and the perseverance, right? Anybody could do it. Anybody could do it. I, w I could do it. Anybody could do it. Because I don't partic I don't have any talent. I don't have any like ability. And if you notice on my channel, if you look at all through the channel, I've, I've totally mixed it up, right? Now most of the big channels, what they'll do is they'll do like comedy, only comedy, or um, like working out, or they have some sort of a niche, right? And and that niche is sort of like people who like that kind of stuff, they go and they grow and each week they expect to have something similar in, in that sort of idea, that field, right? And so I didn't have anything like in particular, like, you know, that I, I wasn't really special in any sort of way. So I try to make my sort of niche, if you will, random, right? Like you never knew what to expect the next week. Right, and, and as it would go, I would try to mix it up. Right, I'd do something serious, something funny, you know, something about workout, something about um, anything I could think of. I would use that and I would make it different, right? So I thought that that niche, that interesting, entertaining 
sort of niche would really spread out the different areas that people might like me, right? Now you have to remember when you're on YouTube, right? Like you're going around the world, right? So, so around the world, there's people all over the world, and they have all sorts of interests, right? And I figured, well, if you're random, right, and if you're different, you know, it brings sort of more of a cultural diversity to what could be attractive, you know, for you and in, in, in your, you know, your video content, right? So that's one of the reasons that my uh, I have not really focused on uh, anything other than creating, staying pre preserv preserved, preserved, and uh, you know, trying harder and har trying harder. Another thing I would do is is that I, I noticed a lot of people would do like marketing, like a lot of the big channels they might market or they might advertise. Or that you know, basically they have enough money to be able to do in all these things. I couldn't do any of that because I'm like a poor guy walking around. So one thing I learned is that you know, if I walked, I used my body and sort of like my look to make regular trips to places where people were a lot, right? Like on the main streets of the city, or maybe in the malls, or just places where. You know, I knew that there was going to be a lot of uh, eyes, views, if you will, that they might look and they might look at you again and they might go and look at your YouTube channel or a video on your YouTube channel or talk about your YouTube channel, right? And I figured that that was really a big part of, you know, why how I could do it, right? I couldn't do it with any money, but I could do it with my feet and a heartbeat, so to speak, right? So that's sort of how I advertised. And then I had the random ideas, but I had the, uh, the dedication to keeping everything nice and clean and everything within the parameters of, you know, as long as it was within the parameters of what YouTube guidelines said, because they, they check it, right? Like, so it has to be okay in order for them to monetize it, which means that they can put advertisements on, on it for whatever they want, right? And then or they can find somebody and they monetize it. And then that means that if, you know, that means that it's good. It means it's, 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 the video is fine, right? So anyway, um, I just am so happy because I really sort of like dedicated the last, um, I would say, you know, uh, three, I think it's three years, eight months and five days, right, to getting to this point, right? I was sort of hoping for, like at the beginning, I was hoping for, you know, the big, huge channel, and then I was thinking, well, I'm going to get, you know, hopefully I can get uh, maybe like an acting gig or a TV gig or a motivational speaking gig, right? And then I thought, well, you know, um, you know, and then basically I could see that a lot of that kind of stuff, right? Like a lot of that kind of stuff just wasn't, it wasn't happening, right? And, you know, but I thought, well, I don't want to give up on it. And so I made a million views, like a million views overall on the channel. Right to be sort of for me a, a sort of a minimum benchmark of a successful YouTube channel. Right now I don't know. I mean some people might say some people you know have any sort of number. They, to me personally, to me that was sort of like the very bottom line, you know, of a successful channel. You know what? There's a lot of successful channels that are niche channels that might be a lot lot smaller, and there's these big commercial channels that might be a lot lot bigger. Right, but for a guy walking around with no, nothing, nothing, I have nothing. I have like essentially nothing, right? Um, think about like having a set, right? Think about having a camera person. Think about having like an actual computer, right? That, that works functionally well, right? Think about having like, you know, professional backdrops or think about having like, you know, there's so many things you can do in videography. Right, it's wonderful actually, I, I, and I wish I could have done any of that, right? And I wish I knew that if somebody else might, might see it and they might they might say, yo man, we want you to do this. You know, I always thought Saturday Night Live would be amazing, for example, right? I thought, like, think about it, they have everything done, right? No, nobody sees these things, right? But when you actually are making these videos, you realize about lighting, you realize about sound, you realize about colors, and you realize about like all sorts of things, glare and angles and, you know, so, the thing is, is that, you know, I didn't know any of these things, right? I didn't know any of that. I have a degree, but my degree is in economics, right? My degree has nothing to do with videography at all. But I've always had this feeling that, you know what? 
I need to have a YouTube channel. Like, you know, I, I, I need to be out there, right? Because I got all like, these cool ideas and I got all, I feel like I'm an interesting, entertaining, awesome guy, right? Like, I feel like I'm an awesome guy. But when you walk around, you know, people don't necessarily see that. Like, they see, like, whatever is on your, like, outsides. They don't see your insides. They don't, they don't get to know you, right? It's, it's really, like, um, it's difficult to show what's inside, right? And I figure, well, you know, this YouTube thing, I've always, I've always thought, you know, I should maybe do that. And so finally on that day, right, it was actually on July the 5th that I made that decision I was going to do it the very next day. And I started on July the 6th, right? I went and bought the camera, and I got the channel started, and, you know, and then there was some, you know, it's also, it does it all on West Coast time, and I'm on uh, East Coast, EST, like New York time, right? So, like in, uh, you know, here, so they, when they do the updates and stuff like that, it's always, like, uh, you know, done out of California, right? So that the times are different, too. So if you do something on one day and shows up on another, it's all different. It's all different because of the time zones, but... You know, as long as you got patience, it all it all works itself out. I made it midnight EST, right, Eastern Standard Time, which is, you know, the next day for me here, right here, in this time zone, in East Coast time, New York time, right. So, anyway, there you go. I I don't know um, what the future of the channel has been is going to be. Another thing I wanted to say too about how do you do it? It's uh yeah, if you respond to the subscribers. For the first 1,000 subscribers, every time I get a subscriber, I would send them like a little thank you note, you know, and just say thank you very much, and you know, you know, it'd be great if you could share. But after I got to 1,000, I stopped doing that, and basically up to here, um, I've been very responsive to my subscribers and to my fans who are, uh, you know, on all of social media, particularly the YouTube. Like when they say something, as long as it's legitimate. Don't re I, I did not respond to anything negative, anything off point, right? I didn't take it. If there was a person that was completely out of line, I would take them off and just say, I don't want nothing else to do with this person. Thank you, though, right? But don't respond to it because if you feed into it, if you feed into that negativity and that stuff, it just goes on and on. But if somebody said something nice or some something positive or something half decent or constructive or anything like that that I felt was legitimate and, you know, or just... You know, if I if I recognized who they were, because I saw them a lot, I would always respond, right? And that responsiveness makes people feel engaged. They feel like they're part of it. So I don't have a lot of subscribers. I think it's uh, 3,274, but those subscribers are like they 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 they're they're pretty dedicated. I got some pretty good dedicated subscribers, right? So I really have appreciated them, and you know, you if you're one of them. Right, so for sticking with me and understanding how I do it, you know, like I'm different and it's like, ooh, what's going to be next, right? So, there you go. That's how I did it. I don't know exactly how you're going to do it, um, but that I, that's how I did it. That's how I did it. And it was very hard, but I have to say I learned a lot about myself, right? I learned a lot about... Um, I learned a lot about, uh, you know, f film, YouTube, the computer, all, all the computer world, if you will, right? Um, I learned about being a in the public spotlight because one thing too that you gotta you gotta see as you get a little bit bigger and bigger, you become more and more public, and so when you walk around, right, people start looking at you, right, and you're not used to that, right, and so they, that takes some getting used to, right? Usually, you know, it, it started happening right away as it started going up, but, you know, it happens more and more and more as you get bigger and bigger and bigger, right? So, you know, you have to be aware of that, and you have to be ready for that, and you have to like that, and you have to want that, right? Because, you know, once once you're sort of known, like, then you become, like, more known, right? So, you know, that's been part of it, right? So people recognize you, they recognize it's it's different. It's something you can't really uh, explain until you're there, when you just gotta get used to people looking at you and talking to you and they might recognize you from some, you know, from a video you did, right? Whereas you might not recognize the next person on the bus, people look at me, or they might look at me, right? Not everybody, but you know, it's just, you see it a lot, a lot more than I used to see it a few years ago, right? Like, you know, nobody paid attention to you. Now, once in a while, you'd be like, you might see one or two or a bunch of people look at you. It's, 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 a, it's a whole new world. All right, so there you go. 
I don't know if that's the Undertaker showcase. I don't know if I'm going to do it every other uh, every Wednesday. I don't know if this will be it, right? But this was the goal for me. This was the final goal that I had come up with, right? And you know, I know that no matter where you are in life, right? And no matter what you're doing, you know, if you feel stuck, if you feel like you can't change, if you feel like you can't do it, right? You can do it. You can live, baby. You can make things happen for yourself. Right? You have to believe in yourself extremely deeply, right? You have to believe in extremely deeply, come up with a game plan, and stick with it, right? It is hard. And, you know, you see all, like, these professional athletes, and you see, like, these people who get famous say this. Trust me, it's extremely hard. And, you know, that's how I got to have a million views on YouTube is I had to, you know, learn about all that, right? And so there you go, guys. All right. Um, love you all. Right? You guys have been wonderful. I appreciate uh, all your positivity, and I hope that you learned something uh, here from me on whatever it is that you needed to learn from me. Right? And uh, I hope that that is inspiring to you. All right? Have a wonderful day. All right. Woo! Thanks for watching.